want to know? Get this, what's in your makeup bag with Merle Norman. Today there's a beauty trend called ombre shading. Ombre, ombre, there we go. And in the 2000s we saw it in hair, followed by clothing and nails, but our next guest says, hey, makeup artists have been doing this for a long time. Renee Hitt is a Merle Norman studio owner, joining us now to show you how to do this blending technique on your cheeks. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Tiffany, how are you? I'm doing well. I love to hear this, because I love new makeup tricks and techniques, but here's the deal, even though this is popular, it's not necessarily new, is that right? No, no, you know what's old is new again. True, very true. Okay, so what is ombre cheeks? What's the whole technique about? So the whole technique is that you're gonna use um, vary, uh, varying colors to create shape on the face. So you can use a monochromatic of a dark, medium, and light color in the same family, or you could use um, complementary colors to create your own shade. So this isn't like those baked cheek colors, is it, where they're all mixed in together and you see all the flecks of colors no, throughout no. it? No, so that gives like a, like a kaleidoscope of color on the skin, which is really natural looking, you know, because we aren't just one color. This is a little bit more, um, would you like me to show you? Yeah, please do. Great. So we have this really cute little um, cheek duo that uh, is a special edition 90th anniversary gift, or not gift, but special offer for our customers. And it includes two limited edition shades. One of them is Plum Rose, which is just this really nice soft. And the other is more of a contour color. They can be worn alone. So a earth tone and a pink tone, or I'm going to show you how to use them together. So what I like to do is because they're cream based, that's why you can spray them, right? Yes, they're like a crayon. Yeah. And so I um, did, did my makeup, I put my foundation on, but I didn't put any powder on this morning because if you're gonna use a cream product, you wanna put that right on another cream product. You don't wanna put it on a powder. Right, cream so on cream, powder this, on powder. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this first color like this and kind of make like a C. And then I can buff it in with my finger or I could use a brush if I wanted to. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, really simple, really kind of sheer. What I like about the cream colors is that it really makes the color look like it's coming from within the skin. Ooh, that is pretty, Renee. I mean, even just the way pretty? you put it's that really on, I don't color. usually go up like that. Yeah, well, you know what you do is you get lift. So when you talk about, um, what did you call the um, person that loses weight on their face? <laughs> oh, just diet face. Yeah, diet face. This is a way to oh, um, compensate for diet face. There you go. Lift right. it up. Then Plump it. The color is going to go right underneath the cheekbone like that. And then you can just blend that in. Would you still use a bronzer then if you're doing this? You wouldn't necessarily need to. Now, see how I get this like variation of color then? That's beautiful. Yeah, and then I can go back. I want a little bit more color here. It's almost like a highlighter, but with color. Right, right. I still like to use a highlighter um, because well, I like highlighter. I'm obsessed with your with a couple of your highlighters. I love them. You know, I use yeah, all your highlighters. Yeah, I love candle glow. But um, yeah, so then you get this, you know, you get a, a little bit more glow. There's a really pretty highlighter in the cheek crayon called Radiant that you can put on and that'll give a really pretty glow. And even mm -hmm. for, you know, someone a little bit more um, experienced or mature as I am, um, I can have that little bit of glow around my eyes without it emphasizing my smile lines. And it just makes you look so finished now that you have it on on that side too. I mean, on the one side anyway. Yeah. But is it true that- Yeah, the, you can see a difference. You can. Yeah. Is it true that the yeah. biggest mistake women make is wearing just too much blush overall? Oh yeah, have just a streak of color. <laughs> right. And then, and then if you're still a powder person, you can take a finishing powder like this and just finish it afterwards. And then that'll kind of set it and do your final blending for you. Okay, so I like that finishing powder because that's basically a translucent one, right? It's, yeah, well, it's not really translucent because it is a light to warm and then we have a darker color for darker complexions. Um, but what it really does is it really gives a nice soft focus on the skin and makes the makeup look more natural, like you don't have anything on. Would you ever add then a little bit more color on top or is that enough? Stop there, girls. Well, you know, it depends on your style. I'm not a big cheek color person. Um, 
So I don't, I don't typically put a lot of cheek color on. Some people feel like they need it, and then you can just layer it until you are comfortable. The most important thing is to blend. I think if you were going to do a lot of layering like that, I'd make sure to use a blush brush with it. Okay. So here's the deal. People but I really wanna... wanted to show today how easy it is to blend with the fingers because so many people just like to use their fingers. Yeah. And that, I mean, it looked perfect. It looks beautiful the way that you did. Just make sure those fingers are clean, right? Um, and I know you That's do right. teach it. You do lessons if people come, if they want to learn how to use these products. Oh yeah. We have it all set up in here. It's really safe. It's really clean. You can leave your mask on until you have to take it off for this part of the face. Um, we've been doing lessons for months now and everyone feels really safe. So if you are feeling like you need to try something new, don't be afraid to come in. I love that. And I'm, I'm a fan of the ombre shading for cheeks. So thanks for sharing it, Renee. Yeah, it's fun. You're welcome. Absolutely. All Neural, uh, Merle Norman Studios are offering a safe and sanitary try-on demonstrations. So you can stop in for that personal tutorial of the ombre cheek. Learn how to do it for yourself. There's also curbside pickup and mail orders are welcome as well. Renee's studio is located in Brookfield Square to see her. You can also find Merle Norman in Hales Corners on Highway 100 between Grange and Edgerton. Also in Walk. They're located at Paps Farms and there's a shop in West Bend.